this is bliss. The peace, the quiet, the rare chance to do my work without an interruption. Um. Hmm. Um. Echo. Hello. What are you? Um, I just want to ask you if you could do this somewhere. Shh. Sorry. They're on their way. Who? Who's on the way? Echo? Hmm. The longer I know that Echo, the harder she is to figure out. Now, back to something I do understand. File creation. <laughs> Okay. I can't believe it's bog buzzer season again. Their buzzing drives me crazy. <laughs> you know, last year, last year, I dove in the pond to get away from the bog buzzers, and I could even hear them buzzing under the water. Well, all I know is this year, the bog buzzers aren't going to get to me. I'm not going to panic. I'm going to stay nice and calm. Everybody, <laughs> the bog buzzers are coming. Uh, what? Oh! <laughs> Nice and calm, eh? Well, I plan to meditate while they're here, create a vision in my mind of a peaceful place that is totally free of buzzing. Well, I've mm -hmm. got an even better idea. Oh. No matter how loud the bog buzzers get, mm -hmm. I'm going to get even louder! Uh-oh. I've been making up these rhymes that sound really good when you yell them. You want to hear one? Well, um, I don't know. Actually, well, Maggie, wait, I... Well, here goes. When the drizzles meet the teasels and the sky is full of measles, it's time for locks and beasles! Huh? What do you think? I'm speechless. Yeah, I think it's a great plan, too. Here's another one. Flip! Flap, floop, and flopsy. All you get is snap and popsy. To make the day turn moist and toasty, jump into a pot of roasting! Mm. Oh, this is excellent work. <sighs> I've got to back up this file right away. It's too uh, precious to lose. <gasps> Maybe delete my file! No, no, I know it's around here somewhere. Yeah. My file! Yeah, got it. Whoa, a little bit heavy. Oh, uh, oh, oh. It's gone. My screen is uh, blank. I uh, can't help you. The bog buzzers are on the way. Bog buzzers? What am I worried about? My software can restore a deleted file just as long as I don't push. Exit. Oh, oh, you follies! Oh, must, must. Oh, oh, no! I'm telling you, must muffs are the oh. best way to block out buzzing. Yeah, but I'm telling you that Lufa leaves are the only way to go. <laughs> you can hear a flea scratching itself through Lufa leaves. Well, you can hear a fruit fly gurgle through must muffs. <laughs> Mudslinger made me push exit, and he doesn't even care. <laughs> no, I'm not going to fall apart. I created this file once, and I can do it again. All I have to do is concentrate. Piffle, puffle, fill your duffle, touch your toes, and pinch your snuffle! <laughs> Have the bog buzzers arrived already? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, what is it, Stax? What's wrong? I. they. delete. file. Oh, Lee, he's worse than a bog buzzer. All right, Stax, try again, nice and slow. 
nice and slow. Okay, I was working on really important stuff, and when I say keep quiet or be careful, you all just jump and push and yell and twirl around and pay no attention, and then it's delete and exit and everything is gone and nobody cares, not one little bit. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry you're upset, Stax. It's just that the bog buzzers are on their way. And we're all desperately trying to figure out how we're going to deal with them. What are bog buzzers? Oh, they're the most miserably horrible. Irritatingly awful. Unbearably terrible. Bugs that buzz louder than anything else in the whole wide world. Well, except for me! <coughs> well, if they're that bad, why don't you do something to get rid of them? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, all right, all right. What? Huh? What did I say? You see, the bog buzzers are just as important a part of nature as we are. All the creatures in the marsh need each other. Yeah, the insects need flowers. The birds eat worms and bugs and seeds. We live on plants and berries. And everybody needs the trees. Hey, we just made up a rhyme. What we're trying to say is that if we were to destroy the bog buzzers, the rest of us would suffer. But you'll be suffering because of the bog buzzers. But that's different. You mean they're really not that bad? Oh, no, they are. They're terribly annoying. So get rid of them. But we can't do that. They're an important part of a food web. A what? Well, forget it, Echo. All this stuff comes easily to us, but, uh, well, Stax is, uh, you know... <laughs> oh, go ahead, Galileo. Say it. My day couldn't get much worse. Well, look, Stax, it's the truth. We're all part of the marsh, so, well, we understand how it works. <sighs> and I'm just a pile of junk nobody wanted, right? Well, not exactly. Uh... Yeah, but sort of. Uh -huh. No, Stax, you're much more than that. But... You do seem to have some difficulty understanding how the marsh works. So why don't you just leave the nature stuff to us? <laughs> sure, I can do that. Yeah. I'll just go back to my meaningless, unimportant, useless files. Yeah, good idea. Now, who's got any new ideas on how to stop the oh, buzzing? Well, I think maybe I, I have can one. come up with some yeah. new rhymes. Yeah. yeah. What can I do? I sit and dream all day. What I would give if I could run and play. I belong to another world. It's not something you wish away No wonder I'm blue What can I do When no one understands What I would give If I could lend a hand Sounds like I'm getting more stuff. <sighs> This'll do the trick. <laughs> and even if it doesn't, I'm not gonna let a little noise get to me. <laughs> oh, oh, bog buzzers! Huh? Oh. Oh, oh, it's just those giant creatures who dump junk on stacks. <laughs> yeah. Well, that doesn't sound so good. I. I better see what they dropped. Wow. 
Well, they never dumped this much stuff before. Uh, Stax! Stax, you okay? Stax! Stax! Are you, are you hurt? Stax! Speak to me! Oh no! Sleep. Uh, hey, Stax! Yeah. Wake up! Stax doesn't sleep. He shuts himself down and he turns himself on again, all right? Mm. Now, hey, uh, what's uh, this? Uh, quiet, Maggie. I'm trying to concentrate. But there's um, this button here. Uh, huh? Oh, yeah, that one. <laughs> well, I was going to try that one next. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh. I fixed Stax. Huh? <laughs> what do you mean, you fixed Stax? Uh, Stax, are you all right? Uh, huh? Who's Stax? Well, what? You are, of course. I most certainly am not. Huh? But there's something catchy about it. If you like, you can call me Styx. I think that would really suit me. Huh? huh? Styx? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to call you Styx. You're stacks. I'm afraid you've got me mixed up with some other tree. Tree? What are you talking about? I'm talking about me, the <laughs> being you see in front of you. And what are you? Exactly. I'm exactly what you see, a proud and magnificent oak tree. <gasps> huh. Yeah, Galileo, you <laughs> really fixed him. I... I can't understand why a bird hasn't landed on me. Any change? Hmm? Oh, none. I half expect him to start dropping acorns. Oh, I wish it would rain soon. My roots feel awfully dry. What do we do, Echo? Stax thinks he's a tree. All we can do is be patient with him. Yeah. Funny, I don't seem to be making as much shade as I used to. Did you hear that? What? He a what? Buzz. I definitely heard a buzz. A buzz? Oh no! Hey, everybody! Everybody! Echo heard a buzz! Echo heard a buzz! So did I! Put your pizza in a pizza! Spicy ice is such a treat, sir! Oh, come on, Maggie. We don't need more noise. Um, excuse me, but could someone please tell me what's going on? Well, Stax. Stax. Uh, I mean, sticks. Some very tiny, very loud bugs called bog buzzers are just now arriving in the marsh. And unfortunately, they have the most annoying buzz you ever heard. Hmm. How interesting. I wonder if they'd like to sit on my branches. Um, no, I don't think. So, you see, they prefer to land on the fleece flower trees because they love fleece flower nectar. Oh, I see. So, they must be responsible for spreading fleece flower pollen so that more fleece flower trees can grow. That's right. And in a few days, the tipple toads will appear and eat all the bog buzzers. Wow, how wonderful. You're describing a food web. Wow! Now that he's a tree, I guess he understands nature. He's not a tree. Is it true, um, St Stakes? Do you understand how a food web works? Well, of course I do. Let me tell you all about it. <laughs> I'm an old oak tree. My name is Stick. I'm an old oak tree. My 
acorns beat the bugs that feed on me. Little bugs eat acorns on the ground. Little bugs eat my acorns brown. My acorns grow and fall in bunks. Small bugs eat acorns on the ground. I'm snakes, I'm an old oak tree. I'm snakes, I'm an old oak tree. Stax now understands things he couldn't before. Oh, no. What in the world is going on? A blood buzzer invasion! That's what's going on! Oh, I'm out of here! There's only a few of them, and already the buzz is so loud. Well, well what should we do? Well, I could start rhyming. Oh, no, no, no thanks. thanks. Huh. Well, I don't really understand why Stax thinks he's a tree, but it does remind me of the butterfly who wouldn't fly. Rainbow was a beautiful butterfly. He had been given this name because of his magnificent multicolored wings. He would wave his wings and ripple them and flutter them, but he would never use them to fly. The other butterflies were astonished by his unusual behavior. One day, they invited him to a party in a faraway field. Rainbow said he couldn't go. It would take much too long to crawl that far. This was the last straw for his friends, and they approached the oldest and the wisest of the butterflies to see if she could help. For quite a while, the wise old butterfly did nothing but watch Rainbow, and she realized that he acted exactly like a caterpillar. Rainbow had loved his life as a caterpillar. He was afraid that if he started flying, he would lose all his happy memories. The wise old butterfly understood. She said that while it was true that most butterflies forgot their time as a caterpillar, it didn't have to be that way. Why, she could still remember how much fun it was to weave her chrysalis. Rainbow was thrilled when she assured him that he could keep his treasured memories and also fully enjoy his time as a butterfly. After their talk, the wise old butterfly took off for a faraway field and Rainbow happily flew after her. His friends were thrilled to see Rainbow in the air and they watched with delight as his magnificent multicolored wings fluttered in the warm golden sun. Sunshine. Uh, you think some part of Stax remembers being a tree? Hmm. I don't know, but Stax, or Styx, just wants us to love him for what he is, tree or not. Well, then let's go tell him that if he wants to be a tree, it's all right with us. Bog buzzers or, or no bog buzzers. Okay. That's a very good idea. Look, something's happened to Stax again. Oh, oh, oh. Why, I'll push that button that made him work the last time. Oh, no, you won't. I will. Well, do it right this time. Huh? We don't want him thinking he's a grizzly bear. <laughs> now, well, were we? I seem to remember something about a, um, tree? <laughs> He's alive! <laughs> well, that's right, Stax. Uh, I mean, Sticks. Uh, you can be a tree or uh, well, anything else you want to be. It's all right with us. <laughs> In fact, yeah. we find that fascinating. Yeah, and fun. Yeah, it could be a great tourist attraction. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what is it? What's so funny? You're Stax again, aren't you? As a matter of fact, I am. But I do appreciate your willingness to accept me as a tree. It's very thoughtful. Do you understand what happened to you? Well, I just know that I felt badly about not being able to understand nature. Yeah, then you got bunked on the head. That's right. And after that, all I wanted to do was push my roots down into the earth and grow. Wow, you mean you remember it? Yeah, all that stuff about wanting birds to land on your branches? Yes, I do. 
and I have to say that it makes me feel like I know the marsh much better than I ever did before. In fact... Well, what are you doing? Um, just a quick calculation here. Um, and if you'll be quiet for a moment, I think there's something I can do for all of you. Huh? Oh, that What's that sound? sound? It's, it's sex. Why? He sounds exactly like a swarm of bog buzzers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's incredible. Yeah, what did you just do? Well, I merely analyzed the variations of the bog buzzer buzzing and broke it down into a series of tones I was able to duplicate with my audio capacitator. What? I figured out how to buzz like a bog buzzer. <laughs> Stax, how wonderful. And what exactly did you buzz? I just asked them if they would kindly stay away from this area because they were making my friends uncomfortable. And that worked? Well, I did it very politely. Well, the bog buzzers are staying away from us. Stax, you're the best. <laughs> Say, if you ever want to promote those buzzing skills of yours, just let me know. Stax, you've done something I never thought possible. You've made the bog buzzers leave us alone without hurting the food web. I think you know a lot more about nature than any of us ever realized. Well, thinking like a tree made me realize I'm not quite as different as I thought. <laughs> Wait till you see what he does with the tipple toads. <gasps> the tipple toads? They eat the bog buzzers, right? Yes, but that's not all. They croak almost as loudly as the bog buzzers buzz. <laughs> that's right. And the only thing that can drown them out is me. Hurley, burly, crisp and curly, crack a nut and call it Shirley! Actually, I thought that was rather good. Hmm? Hmm. <gasps> I know! I could create a file of all your rhymes. Oh, yeah. Do you think you could do no, that one again? Well, yeah! Hurly burly, crisp and curly, crack a nut and call it.